In this video, we will discuss about the introduction of page, requirements, sample preparation, the preparation of the gel, electrophoresis, as well as the detection. Today, we are going to learn about polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. Polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis, often known as page. Polyacrylamide gels are chemically cross-linked gels. They are formed of two components, that is acrylamide that has been polymerized and a cross-linking agent that is usually of and end middling bisacrylamide. It is used for the separation of protein as well as nucleic acid and this separation is based on the electrophoretic mobility. The most commonly used page is SDS page and SDS means sodium dodecyl sulfate. SDS is used for the separation of protein commonly. The basic principle of page is that the charged molecule when it is applied with an electric field it moves towards the opposite charge. That is if the molecule is negatively charged when it is applied with an electric field, it moves towards the positively charged electrode. This separation is based on the charge as well as the size. And uniform charge is given so that the separation happens only by the size. The proteins are of different shapes as well as sizes. These are then denatured with SDS so that the proteins lose their secondary, tertiary, as well as the quaternary structure. The proteins, when it is covered with SDS, they are negatively charged. That is, when the proteins are loaded to the gel, and when an electric field is applied on the proteins, they migrate towards the positively charged electrode. That is, a separation occurs there, which is, by the size. After the migration is completed, that is, the proteins are separated according to their sizes. They are later visualized using a staining technique. After the staining, it is then later calculated for comparing the migration distance. This is done using a molecular weight ladder. This diagrammatic representation shows the polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. That is, the sample is loaded to the wells at the cathode and allowed to move towards the anode. The protein mixture is added and it separates according to their sizes. The smaller molecules reach faster and the larger molecules reach slowly. We will now discuss about the requirements for polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. We need an acrylamide solution. We need distilled water or isopropanol, gel loading buffer, a running buffer, a staining and de-staining solution, protein samples, molecular weight markers, electrophoresis chamber, a power supply, glass plates, casting frame, casting stand, and a comb. Where and why these are used will be explained in the further slides. Next, we are going to learn about the sample preparation of polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. The samples prepared may be of proteins or nucleic acids. These samples are later mixed with a denaturant. The denaturants for protein and nucleic acid are different. For proteins, we generally use SDS and for nucleic acid, we generally use urea. What is SDS or what does SDS do? SDS is an anionic detergent. And what does it do? It gives proteins a negative charge. How does it give proteins a negative charge? It denatures the secondary and non disulfide linked tertiary structures. The urea 
break the hydrogen bonds these hydrogen bonds are seen between the base pairs of the nucleic acids which cause them to anneal so what does sds do sds denatures the secondary as well as the non disulfide linked tertiary structures and what does urea do the urea breaks the hydrogen bonds that are present between the base pairs along with the sample prepared a tracking dye is also added this diagram explains that the samples containing proteins are treated with sds these sds denatures the proteins and gives them a uniform charge these are then loaded to the wells Next, we will be learning about the preparation of polyacrylamide gels. The polyacrylamide gels consist of acrylamide, a denaturant that is SGS for proteins and urea for nucleic acid, a buffer with adjusted pH. These gels are polymerized, keeping them in between two glass plates. And wells are created by using combs. After the polymerization of the gel is done, these combs are later removed so that these gels are ready for the electrophoresis. This diagram shows the two different gels that are present in page: a stacking gel and a separating gel. The separating gel is also known as resolving gel. The difference between stacking gel and separating gel is that acrylamide concentration is less in stacking than the separating gel the stacking gel separates all the protein as a single band whereas the separating gel separates protein based on the molecular weight that is the actual migration of the proteins takes place in the separating gel this diagram shows the basic requirements needed for creating a gel these are combs Combs are used for creating wells. In these wells, the sample is being loaded. These are the glass plates. It is in between these glass plates the gel is being made to be polymerized. These are clips. It is these clips that bind these two plates together. This is a spacer. These Spacers separate the two gels, that is, the stacking gel as well as the separating gel, is electrophoresis. The various buffers used in electrophoresis vary, and these depend upon the nature of the samples. The buffers may be different in the cathode and anode. They may be same or may be different. When an electric field is applied on the protein or nucleic acid, since they are negatively charged, it is allowed to move towards the positively charged, and the migration happens according to the sizes. The smaller the molecules are, the faster they move, and the larger the molecules are, the slower they move, and This movement is based on the difference of the molecular weight. So, the basic principle of any electrophoresis is that smaller molecules move faster and larger molecules move slowly. The final step in polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis is the detection. For visualization, different paints has been used. That is, commutative blue. Silver stain or ethylene bromide. After the visualization is done, these bands are compared. These bands are compared with the non-molecular weight ladders, or also known as markers. This diagram here explains that protein migration has already happened, and we have added a visualization stain. Here, the visualization stain applied is. Commercial blue. After the visualization is done, we can compare it with a non-molecular weight ladder, also known as marker. 
This diagram explains the overall setup of a page. It has a native electrode as well as a positive electrode. The proteins are loaded on native electrode and allowed to migrate towards the positive electrode. Buffers are added to the native as well as the positive electrode. These buffers may be same or different. There are two gels that is a stacking gel and a running gel. The proteins move according to their size that is the smaller proteins move faster while the larger proteins move slowly. Hope the concept of page is clear. For more such videos do subscribe to our channel. If you like the video please like, share and Ask less comment.